Good morning, everyone. I'm Patrick, um, and I'm here to talk about uh, beer, TELUS, and some movements uh, towards some of the things we spoke about last year, which was creating an independent organisation for Open SUSE. And, well, the road to hell is, is paved with con good con con intentions, and we know all about that. And what we're doing is presenting a way ahead, which is the fast-track solution to less hell and more hellish. So let's talk about me. Uh, one way to look at the issue that we've got, the problem that we've simplified, what is needed, uh, what has been done so far, we'll meet or we'll introduce some people, some of whom you'll know, uh, and some, you know, who's, who is this brought to you by? So, this is me. I've, um, I'm a Brexit refugee. I was living in London for 25 years before they made the biggest mistake possible and Brexited, so I decided to move to Nuremberg, uh, in which you know, I've, I've loved it ever since. It's a great place. Uh, my history is eight years in the film industry, which overlaps with about 40 years of technology, um, doing special effects work and wind, rain, fire, the whole thing. Um, I presented at several SUSE events and also Open SUSE events. Some of those events have been memorable, and some of you might remember that, but a lot of them are not memorable. Um, <clears throat> I've almost also uh, presented at IBM events um, and uh, Django events as well. Um, so yeah, and last year I was elected to the board principally to research methods by which OpenSUSE could become some sort of separate charitable organisation. <coughs> so the simple problem is number one: OpenSUSE is funded and created and managed at the behest of SUSE. <laughs> So there's no separa separation, which means there's no bank account that someone could go, can donate money into. <clears throat> um, and if you were to vote, if you were to say uh, donate money for Open SUSE at the moment, uh, and have you wouldn't have any any guarantee if you sent it to SUSE that that money would get spent for, on Open SUSE because the, you couldn't send 50, 50 pounds or 50 dollars or 50 euros to, to SUSE and expect it to show up at a place like this, buying beers or something. <clears throat> um, historically, especially in recent history, SUSE's support for Open SUSE has been a little bit uneven. There's been some differences in, in opinion, I understand, uh, as to what the funding should be and what it, it ends up being. Um, so, as I said just earlier, there is no guarantee that donated services or, or funds that are meant for OpenSUSE would be ever used for OpenSUSE when, if, those, if those services are provided to SUSE. <clears throat> so, how would you create a, a funding target that would isolate donated funds, services, or infrastructure? There's, so that SUSE doesn't share it, because that sort of defeats the, the purpose of of having, um, you know, of having some sort of uh, open, open organisation. So what do we need? Um, a stable, fully independent entity with charitable status, which is important, which will attract, do attract donations from SUSE, um, attract donations from large corporates uh, and already, who are already known to SUSE or open SUSE, but have no place to donate because there's no one target. Um, uh, so that's, that's the biggest problem right now. Um, and attracting donations from individuals uh, and small businesses that are not, that OpenSUSE and SUSE don't know about because there's no way, again, we're going around back to the circle, in the circle. There's no place to donate, there's no place to, to talk to people about how to, to help out on different organisational events. Um, now, someone's calling me. Um, so we need to uh, uh, nominate, uh, so the, the organization will nominate and invite projects 
for, for sponsorships from the donated funds. So it could be individual events uh, that, or individual projects that, uh, that you know, we, we decide as the organisation to say, you know, this, this is, shows some promise and we'll give you some money or we'll give you some, some server time, we'll give you some, some uh, technical assistance. Um, there's also, uh, there are events all over the place. Um, uh, OpenSUSE have been, has been present at some of those events, less so last year um, because of the, the funding issues. Um, so what we'd like to do is have some sort of uh, fund to, to allow people to attend these, these events and also create others, um, other, other events. Um, having a neutral safe space for contributors to, to continue to work together, which, might, which is meant to be uh, if you've got some people from Red Hat or from Ubuntu or from any other organisation that want to contribute, then it's a place where they can do so. And of course, we want to reach out to a wider audience and become more inclusive of other projects that may not be part of OpenSUSE uh, you know, in, in general. So another way to look at it is, is this. there's the foundation in the umbrella, and it funds the events, the projects, the, t the travel support, and branded goods. <clears throat> uh, and as everyone, you know, last year and, and throughout the conversations we've had uh, as, as part of the board, uh, there's widespread agreement as to, you know, well, this needs to be done, but there was never any real agreement as to, well, does it should be done in German law, should it be done in Dutch law, Swiss law, American law, where should it exist? The easiest way to do that is just to do it, which is what I did. So now we've got the Geeko Foundation, which is a, a, is a not-for-profit uh, founded in London, um, and a not-for-profit not company is one there is no shareholders, there are only trustees. So the trustees, the, you, they don't necessarily get money from anything, and there are no shareholders to get to, to attract money you know, to extract money from. So it's all the money that goes in is meant to be, or should be, and is, is um, used for the objects of the foundation itself. So the founding objectives. Promote the use of open, I mean, these are quite simple and basic. Promote the, op the use of open source software and hardware. Stage events in the UK and other countries for educational purposes and to advance the use of open source software. Advocate open technical standards in the private, corporate and, and public sectors. Create an environment to, to support advancements in, in open source innovations. Promote the reuse of computer hardware, which is kind of it's a favourite of mine. Um, and provide computer systems and expertise to communities in need. And when we, once the scope starts expanding, it could be there might be uh, equipment or, or expertise needed in an earthquake zone or something like that. And it would be great if we had a pool of people who could provide that assistance. So it's here, and how can you help? Um, so my company, iLayer, has donated a, a, small bit of, a small amount of infrastructure in Zurich um, and will continue to do so as, as the requirements dictate. Um, but it's, all, it's up to everyone in this room and everyone actually in the open source movement to develop it into a vibrant organisation. Uh, there is, I could be wrong about this, but there's, um, I think there's only one, um, in fact, no, I think this is the only distribution-focused foundation out there. I mean, there's the Linux Foundation, there's, there's uh, Apache, and, but these are, this is a, a specific distribution is the focus. So uh, we are defining some working groups to achieve the objectives, um, and we've already got 10,000 pounds in donations, $10,000 in, in donations. Um, so we're a co-sponsor of this event and the OpenSUSE Asia Summit, and we've got more coming. And the trustees, me, Doug, <laughs> and Svebor. Um, and so this, so 
currently these are the donation, the, these are the, uh, the sponsors or the contributors to the, to the, uh, the, the foundation. And we're expecting to get some of the people in the background also involved. Um, so it's up to you guys. I mean, let's, let's do something and make the foundation work for everyone. Uh, I'll leave this slide up. Um, any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, and that QR code just takes you to the website. Any questions? No. Oh. Hang on. I think yeah, he comes. Yeah, if, if one wants to donate, maybe on a regular base, just send up money to that bank account, or is there... Uh, yeah, is there additional work involved, or is it is it better to send 10 euros every month, or rather you'd have to send 100 euros each year because it's less overhead or whatever? Is there... uh, good question. We've we're setting up things with uh, a couple of different payment providers or or, or the payment acceptance providers. Uh, one of them is Stripe, and we could have, for example, you could do exactly what you say, you said and have a 10 euro a month payment from your, from your bank account. Um, larger amounts are also possible. You could, do, you could do it on a, like you were saying, a subscription basis. So that's not a problem. I mean, 10 euros a day would be even better. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Is that, sorry, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hello, my name is Andreas. Uh, thanks for setting this up, by the way, and for the talk. So for this foundation, how did you find your relationship to the technical part of the open source project? How do you see this work happening in the foundation? Do you intend to influence the technical decisions? And yeah, how do you want to make this work in the foreseeable future? That's a really good question, uh, and not one that I've given any thought to, really. But I guess the thing is, it'll be, it'll be a meritocracy. I mean, I, d I have no interest in, I have some personal technical interests of my own, but I'm not going to foist them on the, on the foundation to get them done. However, there could be, you know, we'll, we'll have a, we'll just say we've got a pot of money, not much at the moment. Um, there'll be projects that will be vying for attention and open, the open source and leap or, or a particular flavour of OpenSUSE may be the focus for distribution. There could be other focuses for different technical projects. But right now, we haven't really thought that through. Well, congratulations on accomplishing, I think, sort of, kind of a lifelong dream of yours. Like, you've mentioned this off and on forever. But um, one thing I'd be interested in, in seeing is, is, would we be able to use the Geeko Foundation as a, venue, as a vehicle of which we could help fund, sponsor other projects development um, that uh, OpenSUSE like, kind of relies on, for example, KDE and, and things of that nature? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it's not, this is kind of the, I hate to use the word because it's been ruined by Facebook. This is the meta idea uh, where we've got, um, it's an umbrella organization and, and flavors of OpenSUSE or some of the things that are, that are, are meant for or a part of OpenSUSE, yes, they'll, they'll be part of what we do, but we'll, the focus is going to be much larger, the scope is going to be much larger. For example, you know, the whole thing about re re reusing of, uh, of computer hardware. I mean, that's a whole new thing, and I was actually speaking to someone in, in Zagreb about that. Um, so there's, no, the, the, the scope is, is as wide as we want it to be until we start realizing we've got, you know, not enough pro we've got not enough money and too many projects that want parts of that money. So, thank you. Any other questions?
Um, thank you, Patrick. And I'm, by the way, I'm checking Telegram because we're trying to incorporate people online if they want to ask questions. But we don't have one yet, so. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.